Hi everybody. Good evening. How are you all? So my name is Megha Bansal. I'm an IELTS trainer at Leap Scholar. Let me start with the introduction. Okay. As uh, I just want you all to feel that you are in right hands. I have 2000 plus hours of teaching experience and I have taught more than 5000 students. How many of you are preparing for seven or above bands? And or how many of you just need the required band? That's six, 6.5 maybe. So what is the topic of today's session? Grammar. Yeah, I'm going to teach you grammar. Before that, I just wanted to tell you that there are four modules, okay, in IELTS, which is a proficiency test. So here we have listening, reading, writing and speaking. Okay, so tell me grammar is important for which of these modules or is it important for all? Also, I got this question, which one is better CBT or PBT, right? Who will decide if I am a student whose typing is extremely slow? I cannot type very quickly. So which, which mode is best for me? Paper-based test, yeah. But if I am somebody who writes really slowly and cannot, and my handwriting is poor also then, computer-based test. Okay, tell me one thing, that if a student is bad at writing and typing both then, Prepare for at least one, yeah. So I just wanted to tell you one thing that today's session is on grammar, which is totally uh, an important topic, obviously, right? Because grammar is that part which is important for all the modules, right? Obviously, we need uh, grammar in reading to understand proper uh, understanding the passage. If you won't know certain things in grammar, you won't be able to get a good band ever. Then we have writing, which ensures that all the tenses and all the parts of speech are correctly used. They are also a part of grammar. Then we have speaking and listening. It's very important to understand the grammar, which is there in the audio, and in order to understand the sentences also given to you. Okay. Next thing, I also wanted to tell you one thing, that to ensure correctness, here we have a special marking scheme, okay? 25% of your score in writing is solely based on grammar and 25% of your speaking is solely based on grammar. So imagine in this class, you would be able to cover so much, okay, 25% each that obviously you can ace your IELTS easily, like the first step, okay? Let's start with a quiz, everybody. So, uh, choose the correct sentence in each pair. This is your first, first uh, slide. You have this. Okay. There are one, two, three, four, five pairs. You got to select which one is correct. I'm giving you 30 seconds. Go ahead. Let me show you the answers first. It says like this. Okay. You should do what you think is right. The first one, then the flower bed that is near the pond is full of roses. Awesome. Many of you, I could see. Could you repeat, please? I didn't understand what you meant. People who do sport live longer. I can easily do this work on my own. So the next one here, everybody. You all have to uh, fill these blanks with the right work. And the work choice is given to all of you. Yeah, quickly. I, I will show you the answers. The first is we dash TV every day. It's very easy. He dash basketball every day. Animals dash their freedom if they are kept in caves. I don't uh, like living here because it uh, because it always dash. What is the answer for the fourth part? Can anyone tell me? Shall I show you the answers? These are the answers. First one, watch. Next one, please lose, reigns, is, hopes, makes, and eating. So the first thing, the topic's name is subject-verb agreement. Okay. The topic's name is subject-verb agreement, which means what? And I'll tell you how to go about it. Those of you who are saying that we know it, I think you have just learned it. But how to understand this, we'll study. Cool. So uh, let's identify the errors. The chart illustrate the data. Can you spot the error here? What is wrong? Illustrate is wrong. Right. Illustrate. The diagrams depicts the import and export. The diagrams... This is wrong. Birds fly over flowers. What is wrong? Birds fly over flowers. Nothing is wrong. Okay. This sentence is correct. The children play every day. This is a correct sentence. I work at Leap Scholar. I work at Leap Scholar. 
Now, there is something really important that you all have to learn, okay? This is subject-verb agreement. Every complete sentence, every complete sentence has a subject. Subject is the hero of, uh, subject is like the hero of the movie, okay? Subject is like the hero and verb is the action performed by the hero. Fine. Have you all seen Chakde India? I think that that is quite a famous movie. So, who was the subject actually in the movie? Actually, the hero was SRK. And what action was he performing? Action played is coaching, guiding. Yes, very good. So, subject is the hero. Can you tell me, Rohan plays cricket regularly? What is the subject here? Rohan is the subject. And what is the verb here? Please. Now, every sentence has a subject and a verb. So, let's identify. The programs are on the piano. Can you identify subject and verb here, everyone? Where the sentence is talking about the programs, actually. And what is the verb? R. Yes. The kittens were under the straw stack. What is the subject here? Kittens. And were is the verb. Very good. We are studying. What is the subject? The. And what is the verb? R. The weather seems cooler. What is the subject? Weather and seems is the verb. Very good. The money must be on the table. The money is the subject and B is the verb. Okay. So everyone, remember this. That if you want to make a, sub uh, a sentence grammatically correct, the subject has to agree with the verb. Okay. If you have a singular subject, then the verb should be singular. If you have a plural subject, the verb should be plural. Now, everyone, please focus here. Okay. The subjects are generally nouns. Fine. Subject. And verbs are action words. Okay. Can you tell me what is the meaning of singular? More than one. Right. Yeah. More than one. Okay. So, we have nouns, verbs, singular and plural. So, when we write girl, okay, girl, do we use is or are with girl? Girl is sitting, right? And when we write girls, then we use are, right? So, do you all agree that with singular subject, we use singular verb? Yeah, okay. But when it comes to verbs like Play or plays. Then what? It should be plays or it should be play. Plays and play. So do you realize this one thing? That plays is singular verb. What is this? Singular verb. And boys play is the plural verb. Verbs are not nouns. So they have different forms. If you, remember this, that if you don't have S here, you have to put it here with the verb. But if you have S with the subject, then you will not put S here. Any doubts here? Plays is what? Singular form of verb. What is this? Singular form of verb. Is it clear? Shall we, are we all ready to do the exercise, everybody? So, when you don't have S here, you have to put it here. Plays is singular verb. Okay. We cannot count actions. That's why the form is different. So giving you all five minutes, not five minutes, sorry, two minutes for five blanks. Quickly do them. Quickly. So first of all, let's understand the difference between and or. Okay. So here we have Emily and George. Tell me one thing. If I say, please, everyone. Have ice cream and cake today. You should all you all should have ice cream and cake. So what am I asking you to do? Tell me. What am I asking you to do? Have both or have any one? And means and means both. And means both, right? If your mom asks you to bring bread and butter from the market, then will you bring both or any one? Please bring bread and butter from the market. Both. Yeah. 
so tell me the subject is singular here or plural here you emily and george they are one or they are two emily and george are two so the subject is plural or singular subject is plural right so for plural what do we use come emily and george come to my house every friday emily and george comes to my house every friday which one is correct every friday come okay next one have you already did you like the question dash there dash time to watch the movie there dash time this is very easy come on everyone there is time to watch the movie very good my friends who are in the band dash me to play a music instrument my friends who are listen the subject can you tell me what is the subject here my friends is the subject friends is it plural or singular plural with plural subject we use which verb we use which verb plural verb so my friends who are in the band want me to play want is plural verb don't say singular verb that's wrong right my father this one is also an amazing one seriously i just love this if you are here in the class and you want to learn something reply for this question my father or my brother dash coming with me to the ball game my father or my brother is r is r what is the right answer okay we have or here let's understand the difference of a uh, difference between and and or if i say please eat ice cream or cake today i love eating ice creams and cakes that's why i'm just taking these two examples please eat ice cream or cake today then what will you do what am i asking you to do or means anyone if your mom will ask you to bring pencil or pen from the market bring pencil or pen from the market then what will you do so tell me any one means either the father would go or brother would go so subject is singular or plural if any one is going singular the subject is singular what is it because any one is going na if i am saying i am going to eat ice cream or cake so either i will eat ice cream or i will eat cake so if i am eating only ice cream my subject is singular but if i am eating only cake also then also my subject is singular so here i should have i should write is the bag of oranges dash fresh this is also a very nice question do it please looks or look okay let's understand the verb here the action here is used for the bag or for orange we are using this verb for oranges or for the bag the bag bag is singular so we will write singular verb which is looks remember verb with s is singular are you all ready for the next set of five sentences so your trousers dash to be clean now we have s your i told you that when we have s then it should be only need got it some of the books on the shelf dash dusty this is also very easy come on everybody respond everyone dash to be relaxed this one is an amazing one everyone is singular or plural this is a big myth actually okay can i teach you one more thing here if you all are ready to listen to me we have this bot rule whenever we make a word like this any buddy one thing okay we have anything anybody anyone fine we have can you tell me a few more examples everything everyone we also have nothing no word all these are treated as singular subjects this what rule means 
if you will add anything before them body one thing that is your singular subject what is that singular subject they are singular subject everyone dash to be relaxed it should be needs or need now tell me it should be needs what it should be needs if i write here nobody dash in the afternoon okay and your verb is play or plays can you tell me the answer now nobody dash in the afternoon play or plays plays very good the team dash to win the tournament so it should be hopes the last one is very easy the students dash piano very well the students dash piano very well it should be play i have one thing to share everyone listen this is also very very important somebody wrote hopes do you know when do we use this apostrophe book belongs to many students and this one is book belongs to only one student see the apostrophe here after s before s got it so you have a uh, 3 minutes send the answers let's let's just discuss the first one is very easy it's an apple i know this is pretty easy huh mount everest is in dash himalayas is in the himalayas awesome my mother is allergic to flowers no article i'm crazy about visiting museums no article he is dash nice guy he is a nice guy do you want to go to dash restaurant where i had my birthday party the he thinks that love is what will save us all he thinks that love is what will save us all no article awesome so we have articles here everybody we have three articles a and the and this slide i'm smiling you can take the screenshot we have a which is used before only singular objects singular means one we know that then we have an also which is used before singular objects but we all think that an is used before vowels but actually an is used before vowel sound do we ever write an university is this correct because the sound is of y but do we write an r yes because the sound is of o o sound okay next is the we have singular and plural we can use to specify the object also we do not use any any article before uncountable nouns which we cannot count and proper nouns okay then bye everyone thank you for coming